Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Biochemistry Concepts. This video is about how to remember the purine synthesis in an easy way. For this, in first part we will see how to remember the intermediates of the de novo purine synthesis and in the second part we will see how to remember the enzymes and coenzymes required in the pathway. Using fish as a clue, purine synthesis intermediates can be remembered easily. This clue which includes fish applies to intermediates starting from gar. What is gar? Gar is a type of fish. So after gar the next intermediate becomes F gar. What is the use of this F gar? This F gar is used in the treatment of a condition called as in the form of favors. These are used in the treatment of generalized acute malnutrition. So the next intermediate becomes F gam. How these wafers are packed? These wafers are packed in eight tight bags. So the next intermediate becomes air. And how these are stored? These are stored in AC containers. So that's why the next intermediate becomes AC air. And how these are transported? These are transported to places using car of Sai. So the next intermediate becomes Sai car. And what is the special about this car? The speciality about this car is this is AI car, artificial intelligence car. And what makes it so special? Because it is the first AI car. So after AI car, the next intermediate is FAI car. And how this is used? This first AI car is used for important program. So the next intermediate becomes IMP. Now coming to second part to remember the enzymes and coenzymes involved in these reactions. In the second reaction, the phosphoribosyl amine is converted to GAR. GAR means glycinamide ribonucleotide. So Glycine is involved in previous reaction. So as glycine condenses with phosphoribosyl amine, it requires energy. So ATP is utilized in this reaction and the enzyme which is catalyzing this reaction is synthetase. The next reaction, GAR is converted to FGAR where FGAR means formal glycinamide ribonucleotide. F is equal to formal group. So in the conversion of GAR to F GAR, formal group is added. So it involves the formal tetrahydrofolate as the coenzyme. So as formal group is transferred, the enzyme is called as formal transferase or transformylase. And in the next reaction, F GAR is converted to F GAM. So the difference between FGAR and FGAM is M, M for amido, amido group. So in this reaction, amido group is transferred from glutamine, which is converted to glutamate. As amido group is transferred, the enzyme is called as amido transferase. And this reaction also requires energy and it is supplied by ATP. So here also, ATP is utilized. In the next reaction, formal glycinamide ribonucleotide, that is FCAM, is converted to AIR. AIR means amino imidazole ribonucleotide. This is the fifth reaction, and fifth and tenth reactions are ring closure reactions where cyclization takes place. So, here the enzyme is cyclase. In the next reaction, air is converted to AC air. AC air means amino carboxy, amino imidazole ribonucleotide. So to remember this reaction, that is enzyme and coenzyme participating in this reaction. So AC is equal to addition of carbon dioxide. So in this carbon dioxide is added. Enzyme catalyzing this reaction is carboxylase. In the next reaction, AC air is converted to SICAR. 
సో సక్సనైల్ ఎమైనో ఇమడజోల్ కార్బాక్సమైల్ రైబోన్యూక్లియోటైడ్ ఈజ్ సాయికర్ సో వేర్ విల్ టేక్ ఎస్ యాజ్ అ క్లూ ఎస్ ఫర్ యాస్పటేట్ యాస్పటేట్ రియాక్స్ విత్ ఏసీ ఎయిర్ టు ఫామ్ సాయికార్ సో దిస్ కండెన్సేషన్ ఆల్సో రిక్వైర్స్ ఎనర్జీ సో ఇర్ ఆల్సో ఏటీపీ ఈజ్ యూటిలైజ్డ్ అండ్ ద ఎన్జైమ్ కెటలైజింగ్ దిస్ రియాక్షన్ ఈజ్ సింథటేస్ ఇన్ ద నెక్స్ట్ రియాక్షన్ సాయి కార్ ఈజ్ కన్వర్టెడ్ టు ఏఐ కార్ డ్యూరింగ్ దిస్ రియాక్షన్ ఎస్ ఫ్రమ్ సాయి కార్ ఈజ్ రిమూవ్ యాజ్ ఫిమరేట్ ఇన్ టీసీ సైకిల్ సో టు రిమెంబర్ దిస్ సో ఇన్ టీసీ సైకిల్ సక్సనేట్ ఈజ్ కన్వర్టెడ్ టు ఫ్యూమరేట్ సేమ్ ఇయర్ ఆఫ్టర్ రిమూవల్ ఆఫ్ సక్సనేట్ ఇన్ ద ఫామ్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్యూమరేట్ ఫ్రమ్ సాయి కార్ విల్ గెట్ ఏఐ కార్ సో ఇన్ ద నెక్స్ట్ రియాక్షన్ దిస్ ఏఐ కార్ ఈజ్ కన్వర్టెడ్ టు ఫైవ్ కార్ సో ఎఫ్ ఫర్ ఫార్మల్ గ్రూప్ దిస్ ఫార్మల్ గ్రూప్ ఈజ్ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ ఫ్రమ్ ఫార్మల్ టెట్రాహైడ్రోఫోలేట్ దిస్ రియాక్షన్ ఇస్ ఆల్సో కెటలైజ్డ్ బై ఎ ఫార్మల్ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ ఈస్ ఆర్ ట్రాన్స్ఫార్మల్ ఈస్ ఇన్ ద నెక్స్ట్ రియాక్షన్ ఫైవ్ కార్ ఈజ్ కన్వర్టెడ్ టు ఐనోసిన్ మోనోఫాస్ఫేట్ ఐఎంపి సో యాజ్ వీ నో దట్ ద ఫిఫ్త్ అండ్ టెన్త్ రియాక్షన్స్ ఆర్ సైక్లైజేషన్ రియాక్షన్స్ so this is also a cyclization reaction where ring closure takes place so here the enzyme catalyzing this reaction is cyclohydrolase imp is the parent purinucleotide from which other purinucleotides like amp and gmp can be synthesized so imp conversion to amp and gmp in the left side of the reaction so imp is first converted to adenyl succinate by the action of enzyme adenyl succinate synthetase this reaction requires gtp and aspartate adenyl succinate in the next reaction by the action of enzyme adenyl succinase right one fumarate molecule is uh, released during this reaction so that adenyl succinate is converted to adenosine monophosphate amp coming to right side of the reaction imp is first acted upon by the enzyme imp dehydrogenase which leads to formation of xanthine monophosphate xmp this xmp is converted to gmp by the action of gmp synthetase this reaction requires glutamine and atp along with water molecule